Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, please hit the bell. If you want to be here every time me and the tea team are here getting it in, please seek God first, first of all. And please remember these are collective messages uh, for those that pop up in the comments and say, well, this is not what you told me. I have never given anybody a personal reading. Collective readings means they are for the collective, okay? If they do not apply, they are not for you. Let's go ahead and jump into today's reading. We're actually going to freestyle this. That's just the vibe that I'm getting. I'm going to go ahead and let <clears throat> um, Spirit lead. You know, I have not prayed for any prompt before we get started. So let's go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead. See what's going on out there in the collective, okay? Girl, what's going on? It, it, we, how we come out the gate with the devil card energy? I, well, what y'all into out there? It's the year that just started. Okay? Let me make sure y'all can see y'all scooch my little desk back. Lord have mercy. What's going on out there, y'all? Uh, somebody is coming out the gate. Wanting to have their cake and eat it too. Um, somebody is in a very frisky and sexual state of mind. This person has a very quick and sharp mind as well. This is somebody um, that knows how to play the game. I'm actually getting the vibe that this is a feminine energy, okay? We are not looking, we're not looking at a masculine here. Somebody out there in the, the feminine collective, okay, is cutting a rug. And it is going to bring them... <laughs> It's going to bring them a little trouble. We see this five of cups. Um, somebody out there is having their cake and eating it too. And what's going to happen is by the time this thing closes out, you're going to be sorry you did this, okay? There is a masculine that is trying to um, bring a dream relationship to a feminine energy. He's trying to do his best. However, this is going to end in broken heart energy. Somebody out there is not appreciating what they have. The devil, the five of cups, the knight of cups, the seven of cups, and the three of swords. Somebody out there is not appreciating what they have. There is a feminine out there that is overlooking the nice guy or not appreciating what she has in front of her. Um, and let's go ahead and chop into this and see what's what. Okay, um, this isn't going to end well for somebody that's out there that's overlooking this guy. This is a nice guy, somebody that, you know, I don't get the impression that he's the, he's the, you know, somebody that really pops like in terms of personality. Okay. Maybe easy to overlook. Um, please consider this little nice man, honey, while you are here being frisky, this man is somebody that can bring you justice. Also, there is a feminine out there that you have been kind of clowning, you know, doing your thing, being extra social. We see with this devil card energy, you've been out there doing you. The issue with that is that this could potentially bring you going ahead and taking a chance with the nice guy could potentially bring you back into a positive karma. Um, it can bring you back into balance. Because you've been doing some things you ain't had no business and you could easily be headed for heartbreak energy right now. I'm just finna let you know. Okay, we see the chariot. Okay, and we see the warrior energy here. It's time for you to go ahead and move forward into a new beginning. Somebody needs to come out of their play a season, okay? This is a feminine energy. You've been out here wilding out enough. You may be a younger woman or you may be a woman that has just stepped into this, like, I'm, I'm out here dating, I'm just doing me. It may be time for you to cut that season short because what I'm going to tell you right now is that karma is coming to you if you don't get out of that lane soon, okay? And that is a divine message. We see great spirit. Mother creator, bless the earth through my life source of all nourishment. We seek to replenish your sacred world. Guide us now through these images, words, and feelings within as we reach into the wholeness. Let all that is needed be known. You need to get a revelation about this. Somebody, this is your revelation. It is time for you to really kind of switch up the way you're doing things. You hanging out. You just keeping everything casual. You might be hooking up different things like that. You might be dating between two, three guys. You might feel like, you know, that tough guy is a better choice than that, that nerd guy. Well, he's not. Okay. 
He's not. And there is great potential that this will not end well. Okay. This will end with your heart being broken. If you continue the way that you've been going on, there's also some money that will be held back from you. If you continue the way you've been going on. Okay. Now this is just where we at for pentacles energy. You may not receive everything that is coming to you. Okay, if you continue to move the way that you have been moving, the hangman, you are going to reach kind of a pause. Okay, your dating world is going to come to a pause. Um, a lot of this sexual energy that's coming towards you is going to come to a pause. Okay, you're going to hit a lot of karma if you don't change and change now. You also are going to begin to run into more karmic masculine energies. Now, that's a really important thing to say, girl. Whoever you are, you out there partying, you out there doing your one, two, you doing your big one. Let me tell you something. That's childish. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That that's that that's childish. And it's the reason that we're gonna call it childish, because there's a time and a place for just being loose and having fun and just doing you. The reason it's childish is because what we're seeing here is that karma is going to befall you sooner or later if you do not come out of that. The time for that in your life is up. And we see this a lot of times. It's time for us to change our lives, but we so caught up in something. We think we can just keep still, keep playing, keep being recreational. But spirit is telling you that is childish. It is time for you to come out of that space and that there is a divine masculine that is before you. And you need to pause and you need to recognize him. Okay, you're not giving him his just due or his credit and you're about to start running into nothing but karmic masculines. And that is because the divine is calling you out of that space. So if you don't heed the divine and it's like it's time for you to come out of that space, you're going to start to feel that any moment. It's going to start to feel away. Okay, you're not going to feel good about what's, what's coming to you from this point. The shift is about to change. You're not about to be meeting no nice guys out there in a minute, sis. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Seven of Swords, you're going to start running into men that are karmic masculines. They're going to be sneaky. They're going to have all types of other women. They're going to be confused and confusing, okay? They're not going to be able to help you move forward. There's going to be a lot of double talk. Two of Pentacles energy with this. Okay, eight of swords, energy, double talk, things that make you feel blocked, things that make you feel ment mentally tied up. I'm also going to tell you some of the masculines you're about to run into are going to have a very pimpish energy, putting you in mental bondage, keeping you confused, manipulation. You're about to start running into kind of low rent masculine energies. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Okay. You're not about to run into nothing nice. And they're about to become a burden to you sexually. You might start, it's time to start considering that you may run into some sexually transmitted infections out here. Okay. You're about to start running into the undesirable end of the dating pool. And it's time for you to come out of that and go on and step into something real. Okay. That's, that's it. That's all. You're about to start getting a lot of messages, much like this one, that are kind of directing you to the fact that it's time for you to get into a new beginning. Ace of Wands energy. I'm sorry, Ace of Swords energy. It's time for you to get into a new beginning and step into some truth. Okay? It's time for you to step into some truth. Um, Playgirl era is over. Okay? Go on, tell Hugh Hefner you're hanging up your ears. It's time to go on in the house. Okay? That's, that's all there is to that. Um, first and foremost, there's also the possibility of a pregnancy coming. Okay? You could run into a pregnancy out there. A lot of water energy, okay? We see the swimmer, the dolphin energy. Um, you could very well run into a, a pregnancy. And I, I'm not going to say the pregnancy is so much unwanted, but the the, the 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 situation would be unwanted. Baby, it's time for somebody to come in from outside. That's the bottom line. It's time for you to come in from outside, girl. You know, everybody had a season where they just doing them. It's time for you to come in from outside. That's the bottom line. Okay, we see this devil card, trickster energy again. This could potentially be the father of that child. Okay, if you don't come in from outside, you're going to end up stuck with a karmic masculine, a narcissist, somebody that's just outside playing with people's lives. They're not serious. They're not in divine energy. Three of wands. Three of wands. Okay. Three of Wands, it's time to look to the future, clearly. Ace of Pentacles energy, is it's time to look to the future and it's time to look for masculines that actually have something to offer. 
Um, it's time to completely rebirth yourself, girl. And you want to look for a man that's in the exact same season. We see the sun energy, masculine energy. We want to look for, you want to look for, we all want to look for men that are also coming into their divine masculine. Just as you're stepping away and it's time for you to go ahead and like ascend and elevate in your divine feminine, you want to look for a masculine that's doing the same. That's elevating, coming into his divine masculine. If you do not, this three of swords is coming. I'm, I'm just, I'm not even, listen. It's coming. Okay, the time has expired for you being in certain crowds with certain kinds of people. With the coming of 2024, a lot of people are being moved into a whole nother phase, space, and time. That's just what it is. And it's time for you to come out of that. Okay, it's time for you to come out of that. Um, there will be a lot of beautiful energy between you and the divine masculine. If you just go ahead and step into this now, you will have a legacy with this person. Okay. We see this 10 of pentacles energy. This person will become a long-term circumstance, but I'm telling you who this man is, is not really somebody that you're going to say like, Oh, that, you know, he's my type. Uh, uh, it's not that. It's not that. It's going to be somebody that's a bit hidden. We see the high priestess here. He's going to be hidden. He is someone who likes to study, someone who likes to read. So he's not out here at no clubs. He's not out here trying to holler at nobody. You may meet him somewhere that you least expected, a grocery store, a reading group, um, somewhere, you know, he's a friend of a friend, okay? Be open to that because I'm telling you, he's not going to look like what you're used to. This guy is not flashy. He may be a Pisces, a Cancer, Okay, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, water sign energy. And he's just not going to be what you're used to. He's not even that tall. Like, that's what I'm getting. This ain't no sleep. He's not short, but he's not tall. It's like a regular guy. You know what I'm saying? It's just a guy. He's not, he's that somebody that's like, oh, he got the look. He got the swag. He's not that at all. Okay, just not necessarily a nerd either. He's just like, you know, a regular guy. And you're going to have to really use your divine eyes to, to spot him and to see him. Okay. And you're not going to be able to do that if you're still out here, you know, just being outside. Outside has expired for you, sister. Outside is over. Okay. Higher fit energy. It is time for you to make peace with the fact that it is time for you to step into a divine partnership. I can't say it enough. Okay. Period. It's time for you to step into that space. It is time for you to realize that it is time for you to move forward. I said forward. Okay, that is the message to you. It is time for you to heal and discover your strengths and step into marital energy. Four of Wands. Somebody out there, it's not so much that the right man is not around. It is just really time for you to kind of shape up, you know, come up from outside and spot him. I really kind of had a feeling early on this is going to be a short reading because I'm not getting anything else on that. We literally keep seeing that reiterated, the Hierophant. The four, the uh, four of wands, um, the knight of cups up here. It's time for somebody. One of y'all need to come in from outside, and you need to start looking, looking at that guy that you've been saying. It's like, well, I don't really know. I don't really think. No, that's him. If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, hit the bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are here getting it in. Okay. That is all the spirit is giving me on this one. So as always, y'all, I will catch y'all in the next one.